When you play a tube amp really loud, the power tubes, which are the big glass bottles in the back literally responsible for pushing the sound out of the speaker, start to work hard, get hot, compress and distort. Most of us never get to experience the sound that makes because somebody, be it the lead singer, your mum and dad or the police, are going to come and tell you to turn it down. The Fryette Power Station is a 50 watt 6L6 tube amp and it's also a reactive load which reduces any tube amp down to zero effectively and lets you record it at line level. It's super useful. What they don't tell you that clearly is that you can plug the power station into itself. So you can plug its power stage into its reactive load and record itself silently as loud as you want. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to under semi-scientific conditions actually learn what the sound of tube amp distortion really is so that we can all hear what it really sounds like. I'm going to record three bits of music. One clean thing, one semi-distorted lead thing, and one fully distorted riff. Each of them at four different power amp levels. The first will be no power amp, just the preamp alone. The second will be uh, at a quiet, giggable, clean level. The third is going to be really cooking where it starts to distort and compress. And the fourth is going to be flat out. <laughs> So we're not simulating a power amp, we're actually using a real power amp and making it distort. The only thing that's being simulated is the speaker and all of the recordings are going through the same Celestian impulse response. <laughs> Also, in the interest of science, science, I've normalized all of the uh, audio recordings so that louder isn't automatically better. I hope that helps you hear the difference between the actual sound you're going to get through the front of house. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope you found this interesting. Stay tuned for more guitar lessons and maybe a bit more gear stuff. See you then.